Hello. And welcome back to Star Ocean. What? The Ocean of Stars. I hope you guys are doing well today. Uh, game, why are you stuttering? Fruit crazy old man. That great big figure in black, the one with the attitude. I would have stood up to him if I only I were a little younger. What the heck can people these days say thanks or I'm sorry at all? I'll done up with their tattoos and all. They think they're so different just because of their looks. Pardon me, ma'am, but we're looking for a tattooed man. Do you know where he went? Mm -hmm. He ran off to the, toward the Coliseum. I'm sure he was up to no good, judging by his looks. If he registered for the tournament, then the law... Can't get him until after he's out of it. Thank you, ma'am. Cool. That was the person I had to talk to. That's it. That's all I needed to do. Whoa. Everyone looks so strong, Kate. Edgy, are you really going to fight these guys? Look, if we don't enter this thing, we won't be able to get to the guy that stole the medicine. I'm strong. I'm cool. <sighs> yes, fighting them as a normal man could be difficult. But if you fight as yourself, Edge, they should pose no problem. I assume you know what I'm implying. Yes? Kick them all in the balls. I understand. I use of my martial arts, blade techniques, tactics. I won't lose to anyone on this planet. I'm sure of it. Can she hear us? Yes. They would all be techniques unknown to the people of Roke. But once the battle is finished, all the spectators will know the truth. They will realize that you are different from them. Yeah, they sure will. If I go through with this battle... Mm -hmm. My actions could very well turn out to be the catalyst that changes Rogue's entire future. What are they going to do? Memorize all your moves? Just it... like what happened on that alternate Earth. Just thinking about it makes me shiver. I feel like I want to run away right this second. Are you saying you would just let Raimi die? No! She's definitely listening it's to just... us. I have no idea what could happen as a result of my actions here. And that scares me. <sighs> Very well. I'll enter the tournament. <clears throat> You're gonna fight, FaZe? You're a fucking pussy, yes. Kay. After all, our friend's life depends upon it. I'm sure you're familiar with the pain of losing people, Lemel. Yeah. I know all about that kind of pain, too. Losing friends is really, really difficult. I freely admit I'm not fit to judge what's right or wrong here, but I refuse to just sit around feeling sorry about it. Faze is so the right of it. Fight, for real. And whatever the outcome, I will take full responsibility for it. Faze. Edge, the only reason I'm able to make a decision like this is because I've come so far studying you. The student surpasses the master. I don't know what happened to you that made you feel like this, Edge. But I do know, if you stand to lose something important because of your fear of the unknown, it's far more noble to push ahead, no matter how hard it is. Actually, I borrowed that from Miss Elena, too. You told me that, too, Bacchus. Didn't you? Did I say such a thing? I fucking did. <sighs> Are you sure about this, Edge? Yeah, it'll be fine. I am scared about what might happen. They're 1v1s. Frankly... I'd still rather just run away from it all. But the thought of losing Raimi scares me even more. I would hope so. I can't tell you how important she is to me. 
We grew up together. We ate together. We bathed so together. Yes, I'm sure. We shared the same piece of mint flavored dental floss. Good luck. And don't forget, Edge. On the road you travel, your friends walk right alongside you. Thanks. I hope it's a wide road. We got a lot of party members now. There he is. The final challenger appears for a man who has already defeated nine and has his freedom staked on the outcome. Oh boy. That challenger, it's Maverick! Fight! Okay, well, should be easy. over and over. Just to fuck with him. Tee hee hee. Bro, you suck. I fought actual godlike beings enchanted by magical crystals you ain't shit oh I charged too long ow there we go oh he's almost dead I almost had him Well, we'll finish him with the classic. Neat. What a fight. You've got something that belongs to the king. <clears throat> Hand over the remedy and the I feel like that was on par with when I was fighting Iron Knuckles last night and just kept backflipping away from him. Talking about? Show me some proof. <laughs> Oh, bitch. You gonna give him back or not? Answer me. F fine. T take it all. Uh, just, just, just don't kill me. I only got my advance, but that's better than dying. Advance? Did someone hire you to steal the remedy? Y yeah. Look, I don't even know who they are. All I know is they wanted to stop the distribution of the medicine. Hmm. No place for fancy folks. Clear the way. Under orders of the king. Ooh. Now this is what I came here for. Well, I got your shiz. Didn't I see you at the castle? I am Lias Warren of the Royal Knights. And you are Master Edge Maverick. Yes? Take him away. Sir. Take Edge away. He looked he was cooler than me, and we must kill him for it. Thank you. By the way, the Marauder said he was hired by someone. I don't mean to interfere in your affairs, but you may want to investigate that. What? You managed to get that much out of him. No wonder one of the sacred wings calls you her companion. Plebeians such as us can't hold a candle. Fucking plebeians. No, I haven't done anything. No need for humility. We sallied forth to the Colosseum upon reports that the Black Eagle was holed up within. Mm -hmm. But we did not expect that you would arrive so much earlier than us. Oh, well, you know. I'm just cool like that, I guess. Accept my apologies. I shouldn't have been so impertinent. Why apologize? What is a knight to do when a hero expresses regret to him? 
<laughs> Hero? <laughs> Hero sandwich. Suffer from stone sickness this very moment. Your actions have saved them. As well as all those that may yet fall ill from the disease. Neat. Those are truly actions befitting a hero. I am certain his majesty, our king. We will remember your name and make statues in your honor and pass Here's them down through generations. Take it, please. I have been ordered to provide you the remedy with utmost priority, Master Edge. I see. Thank you very much. Show your respect to this valiant warrior. What? This man recovered the sickness remedy not only for his friend, but for the kingdom as well. He is a true hero. Yeah, I don't know why we're cheering, but yay! No, I'm not. I'm no hero. Really. Please stop. So cool. I didn't mean to do anything here. Edge, 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 All edge. I wanted was to see Brady. Edge, 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 edge. Neat. Wow. Well, that was fast. Literally instantaneous so even. Again. <laughs> Ray Ray was like a rock, but now she's back to squishy, okay? Just like a whammon should be. Uh, yes, Raimi. It's me. Did something bad happen to you? What, what are you talking about? Not at all. Nothing bad. But now that you're better, I... I see. Sarah? Yes, I'm traveling along with your friends now. I'm very happy that you're doing well. By the way, how is it that you recovered? <gasps> Wait a second. What do you mean by that? Ray Ray got all better because of the medicine, okay? Well, yes, the remedy does cure stone sickness, of mm -hmm. course. But the problem is, it doesn't usually happen Beat. this quickly. Hmm, what you say is true. Uh, don't get me wrong. Is it because we're descendants of the Mua? Mayhaps. Anyone turn to stone. It's just what would you call it? Curiosity. Curiosity killed the Everything chicken. Everything about your sickness was very unusual, from the short incubation period to how slowly it progressed. So I was just a little curious. That's all. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't upset you. No, it's okay. I suppose keeping secrets isn't the best idea. Raimi? Edge. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'd hoped I could just keep all this to myself forever. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Let me guess. Does this have something to do with the mark that showed up on your neck a moment ago? Oh. So, you have seen it. All right. I guess I'll explain everything. Our homeworld, Earth, suffered radiation contamination on a massive scale, making it uninhabitable for normal humans. Okay. Scientists performed endless experiments looking for some way, any way, to adapt us to the severe environment. Is she a super mutant? One of those experiments was called Project Hope. Uh, 
like the last like it's the name of the game she's the last hope thrive under the harshest conditions imaginable earth was once home to an ancient race with extraordinary survival abilities using their dna some special children were born the seeds of hope they possessed supernormal abilities but the experiment produced only three successes mm -hmm. i happen to be one of them the second is crow oh wait crow? who's the third? the third one edge is the last hope the third one is you edge me normally our bodies are no different from those why would you want to keep that from him shouldn't he but when we're faced with crises or when we experience strong emotions the crests on our bodies activate and we gain access to supernormal powers hasn't it ever happened to you edge now that you did it my capacity for adaptation is especially strong Whatever environment or disease I come in contact with, my body adjusts to it on its own. The reason mm -hmm. my incubation period was so fast and the progress of the disease was so slow is because my body was attempting to adapt. And the reason the remedy cured me so quickly is because those powers of adaptation stimulated the healing process. Wacky. Remember what I said to you before, Edge? That something like this couldn't kill me? I was being literal. <laughs> Even if the entire world fell to an incurable pandemic, I alone would survive. Wait, what about Edge, though? That's what it means to be one of the seeds of hope. We aren't normal human beings. <gasps> and this ancient race of people are the Moor? When the Cardinon said, direct descendants of the Moor, that's what he was talking about. Yes. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I have no idea what you all are talking about. Worm. But I can tell that it probably wasn't something I should have brought up lightly. I'm terribly sorry. Not at all. It was kind of relieving, actually. I don't really get it either, Kay. But Ray Ray, you're still Ray Ray, right? You're still the Ray Ray we've been with all along, right? That's all that matters. She should have just been like, no. I didn't know what you made to a scary do face. You were saying all those weird things, Kay. <laughs> Edge, Rainy, you're both my friends, and that's all that matters. From the moment you saved me to the very end. Mary. I have nothing particular to say either. Cool. It remains a fact, after all, that meeting you two has brought warmth to my cold steel body. If I had a human heart, it would I be beating. Bashful, Bacchus. I believe this is my cue to exit. I'd rather you not see my own bashful face, so I will say nothing. What are you all nodding about? I suppose we'll be going too. Hey. Good night, Kay. Don't leave me in here alone. I, uh... You two. I'm not ready to have sex. Edge, are you mad at me? No, that's not it. It's just, well, it's a bit of a shock. Shock. Seeds of hope. Huh. That's what they called us. They were counting on us to bring hope and happiness to mankind, but... I hate it. I hate what it's given me. I hate having regenerative powers. Back when I was little, it's some the of worst. My friends took me to play in one of the forbidden areas. We didn't think much of it. But we were contaminated. 
all of us. Irradiated so badly, we had no hope. But I am hope. My friends all died in terrible pain from the contamination. But this power of mine, it just refused to let me die. The adults all blamed me, said it was my fault. She's a monster, they said. She's not human. Rainy, stop. Why the hell did you survive? You should have died like them, screaming in pain. That's enough. But then, Mom and Dad told me the truth. They told me, it's okay, you're going to bring happiness to us all. But how? Who could I possibly make happy? Someone like me. Someone who can live without a care in the world. Raimi. Raimi, you make me happy just by being alive. And I know Crow would say the same. My power isn't anything special at all. But you're different. Everyone suffering from stone sickness here will get the medicine they need because of what you've done. So please, stop looking so sad. You can accomplish something. I know it. Don't worry. Take all the time you need. Sooner or later, the old edge will come back. You've never done anything wrong. Oh, damn. That was a lot. I'm sorry. I do need more time. But thank you. I feel a little better. He's too good to smooch by the end of the game, or so help me. I think I'm going to get much sleep tonight. We we're gonna find a back alley to jerk off in. Hello, Faze. Are you sleeping? He sure is. <laughs> Bacchus is just standing there. If you cannot sleep, perhaps the night air would do you some good. Miss Raimi as well. We can take the time to relax. Okay. Well, I'll head out. Romeo. Romeo. Where art thou, Romeo? <laughs> hey man, pretty nice show in the Coliseum. You sure were impressive, Mr. Hero. I don't know, you think so? I think we can do better than that. No kidding. Maybe he just had weak opponents. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, whatever you say. It was just a fluke, okay? Hey, don't get smart with us. We know your little secret. That's sort of yours. It's not often you see a treasure like that. A blade like that with that kind of power? <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Anybody could have won with a sword like that, huh? 
Why don't you get to the point? Yeah, why don't we? How about We're gonna you fucking stab you. Just set it down and walk away. Unless you want to get hurt. <laughs> I get it. Plain old goons after my sword, huh? I guess they didn't notice the attacks I was using in the Colosseum. I didn't win that fight with the sword alone. These guys are the same. Lusting for power beyond their means. Exactly the same. Let's blow this planet up too. I knew it. Our very existence on an underdeveloped planet is dangerous interference. Look. This sword isn't nearly as powerful as you think. It's like a toy compared to antimatter. Anti what? But I won't hand it over to someone who doesn't properly. What the fuck did you call me? Got that? Quit your babbling and give it over. Yeah. No. Oh. You little bastard. Oh. <laughs> who needs to pull a sword against a bunch of rank amateurs anyway? You little. All right. That's it. You're gonna die, man. Am I? Fighting off all three isn't going to be easy. Looks like I'm not getting out of this scot free. Got him. Thanks, Bacchus. Bacchus? Well, ah, Eddie. You, you're Muria Tionesis. Not that you need remember, of course. Uh, no, thank you very much, Muria. This is the second time you've saved me. There won't be a third. I don't know about the on, but you don't seem like the sort that would have trouble with mere hooligans. Well, I, uh... But that's beside the point. There's something I've been wanting to ask you, boy. I never imagined I'd run into you here, of all places. What luck. Um, and what is it you want to ask me? I'm looking for someone. Looking for someone? Yes. And I thought you might have some idea of where I might find him. The man I seek was on a ship that looks much like yours. Crow? What? As I recall, he wore clothes much like yours as well. <sighs> I believe he's an earthling, just like you. An earthling with red hair. <sighs> And, I tell you this, boy, he will die by my hand. Crow? Wh why would you want to? Oh, so it's Crow, is it? The name of the man I'm going to kill. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Tell me, boy, where can I find him? As I if I know. would tell you. And I wouldn't tell you if I did. Even if you pulled your tits out. Hmm. Your eyes were so lifeless when you fought those thugs. Who would have guessed they could show such fire? But I honestly wonder, would you still look at me that way if you knew what the red-haired man did to me? What did he... What did Crow do to you? He... He killed my beloved. That wretched man destroyed my life. Nonsense. What makes you so sure, boy? Because Crow's my best friend. Look, I may not be able to believe in myself right now, but I still believe in Crow. Uh. Crow would never do anything to hurt anyone. He's incapable of it. I don't understand you. You believe in that man more than you believe in yourself? What are you saying? <sighs> Not just him. All of my friends. Right now, they're all I have to believe in. No matter what you say, boy, I can only believe what I've seen with my own eyes. Mm hmm. Oh my god. I despise the red-haired man, and I will exact my revenge on him. Muria! 
Once my business on this planet is finished, I think I'll have to follow you. As a party member. If you believe in this man so much, boy, then I have no doubt you'll eventually lead me to him. Well, that was something. Good morning. Edge, bad news. Uh oh. At this hour, what is it? It's Sarah. She's like disappeared. Uh, it's always something. So Sarah's what? What in the? Alright, put that shit away, cat. It wasn't me, really. I mean, sure, sometimes I may drool a little, but still. Mary, um... <laughs> How about you, Raimi? Are you feeling better? Yes, I'll be fine. I'm more worried about Sarah right now. Sari... She got kidnapped. Hey, nothing. Forgive me. I should have had my anti-personnel sensors activated. I should have had my anti-air rockets activated. Tired yesterday. Speaking of everyone, where's FaZe? He's out gathering information. Creates anti-air rockets, I there's still air. The mm, suspicious. Bacchus' instincts would seem to be accurate. Did you find something? Yes. The man who found this feather claims to have witnessed several people carrying Sarah away late last night. Oh boy. From his description, the perpetrators sound exactly like the men from last time. What? Raimi has recovered, but final authority now lies with you, Edge. You're the Capitan. Oh. We have to find Sarah. She's one, one of, us, of us. One of us. One of us. Nice. Uh... Oh, let's go rescue the angel, Pearl, Chicken, Chimkin. Why are these plates on the wall in this diamond shape? Why are they all the same plate, just squished and stretched? Are they targeting Sarah of all people? Well, let's worry about that later. Right now we have to find her. Summoning circle for more plates? Oh no. The plate god. Uh. As long as knights exist, order shall reign over the city. And yet, I do wonder what those robed figures were carrying in the middle of the night. I imagine they were merchants or something, judging by the size of that bag they were transporting. No doubt shuffling off to Tetroy after they realized we don't take kindly to funny business around here. You didn't stop them? Hmm. Alright, back to Tetroy. Man alive. You're amazing. That match floored me. Just absolutely floored me. So young and already a champion. Crazy. Huh? The ship fair? Oh, come on. I couldn't ask the greatest champion all the land for ship fair. You can have a lift anytime you like, alright? What do you think? Wanna have a trip to Tetroy? Certainly. We're so famous that they just give us free stuff. Alright, anyone seen sus some suspicious types? Did I? Yeah. Uh, what about you? You, you there, sir. Take this doll. I got a wooden doll. 
Have you seen anyone suspicious? Yeah. Where? You. Uh, that woman, the woman who ordered this doll lives in Trop, but please deliver it to her as soon as you can. I need your help. Uh, this man's giving me a side quest, and I don't want it. Hey, it's the hero. I heard the whole story. You beat the big bandit in black, didn't you? Uh, man, I wish I could have seen it for myself and... Whoa! Man, stupid earthquakes never even let me finish a sentence. Somebody should look into that. I'm stuck. Help. Alright. Uh, I guess we gotta keep... Go back to asking the people until we find another clue. My son wants to be a Coliseum champion someday, apparently. He wanted to join this tournament, so I went to see him. Boy, talk about pathetic. He doesn't even have a talent, any talent whatsoever. I wish he'd give it up and take over the family business already. Hey, you, the runt over there. Would you mind helping a decrepit old man with a little favor? Hmm, like what? It's simple. Oh, you're all ahead in a trap later, I can tell. An old man's sixth sense, if you will. How about a grape juice? I want you to buy some for me from a seaman in trap. Why does Limo have to buy it? Huh. Okay. Stop giving me side quests. I want plot progression. Hmm. I can feel it right behind me. He won't stop staring at me. Sigh. He's staring behind you. He's like right next to you. Oh, so why do the cats on this planet talk? Uh, men with strange masks astride bunny is running off toward Trop. They were carrying a giant bag. Okay. I guess that explains why all the side quests are for Trop. Hmm. Where was Trop at? I don't even remember. Oh, it's the place we can't get to without a bunny. Find that bridge that we were gonna cross earlier. We go get one. Hello, sir. Huh? Nobody's around. I'm going to look inside the tents. We owe these people so much. The least we could do is say hello. You're just trying to get some from that lady. Limo ain't having it. Limo's about to go yonder in his ass. Is anybody here? Huh? Stu. Lemo? Nobody's here, Kay. It appears they've all stepped out. We'll have to bid them a visit another time. Or never, Kay. That's too bad. I wanted one of those cloaks, too. You look dumb in it, but it would look good on me, Kay. <laughs> you really never stop, do you? Hmm. Why would they start making food and then everyone just leave? I think this is a mystery. Well, FaZe, who was she there? No, unfortunately not. I see. Let's try stopping by on the way back. Yes, I suppose that would be best. <laughs> there you are. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Hmm. 
Hello? Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Ah, fuck, it got me. Alright. Ow. Rude. Hiya! Nope. Cease. Hey, 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 hey. No. There you go. Yeehaw. Alright. Let's do some mining. Silver, platinum, thunder gem. Level up. Barrier spirit water. Neat. Fuck off. Okay. But where are the Benoys? We got a lot of shit to read. All right, seeds of hope. Oh wait, maybe we should do it from the bottom. Up. On. No. Anyway, seeds of hope two. In AD twenty seventy two, an environmental research team on Earth led by Doctor Arnold Maverick. That's our last name discovered a sarcophagus that belonged to an ancient civilization from approximately 12,000 years ago or did they drink the the mummy juice DNA samples taken from it revealed a lost genome one that has no counterpart in modern humans later studies conducted by Dr. Sionji's group found that combining this genome with dormant portions of the modern human genome could produce a race of people highly resistant and adaptable to harsh environments the federation government uh, faced with the extinction of the human race, saw the potential to save mankind in these findings and conducted further experimentation on a top secret basis. The so called Project Hope, carried out through the cooperation of Dr. Sionji, Dr. Maverick, and the um, Medio conglomerate, uh, produced a group of three superhuman babies, the children of the three benefactors. Mua 2, a highly advanced race believed to have lived on Earth 12,000 years ago. Legend has it that their homeland, a continent located in the middle of the Pacific Ocean since the Pangean era, sunk into the sea over the course of a single night. So what, like Atlantis or some shit? Mua 3, a continent on Roke, believed to be named after ancient visitors who became the ancestors of the planet's intelligent life. Home to an enormous uh, treasure chamber filled with valuable objects, the meaty or uh, the... Metorks Mountains lie in its center with the towns of Krat to the south, Portmouth to the north, and Hot Hout in the center of the continent. Optical camouflage. Mush for Mush. Uh, Prince Mush. Eyesight works by processing the way light is reflected off of an observed object by projecting the light blocked by an object onto the other side of the object. An observer can be fooled into thinking the object does not exist. This is the principle behind optical camouflage. Further altering the object's heat radiation and the sounds it makes can completely disguise it from outside observation. Normally, this system is only effective on the object on which it is installed, not other objects in the vicinity. Bacchus, however, can place a spatial screen over the objects he touches, camouflaging them as he does himself. Large objects like spaceships can also hide by warping their surrounding space and refracting light. 
around themselves in a form of gravitational camouflage, but this method requires significant energy expenditures. All right, it was cool. So, yeah, it was nice to actually be able to fight him. Also, the fucking, uh, whack a bump. Mela Bakhtin, a female uh, scientist and the head of the military facility, also calls his wife while examining pieces of a crashed extraterrestrial ship 10 years ago. Radiation from the material cost the life of her beloved two-year-old son who happened to be with her on the expedition. Why? Uh, since then, she has devoted herself to res to her research like a woman possessed, seeking out the unknown with an almost abnormal certainness. Oh, you mean like how you have to get the uh, perfect blocks thingies on him to, to knock him up off his guard. Uh, Exolithium Crystal, a man-made crystal also known as a warp drive core used in a warp drive's energy supply system. Formed by refining exolithium ore, a mineral that does not exist on Earth, into microscopic crystals which are then concentrated and recrystallized. The resulting crystal is then used in a warp drive to create antimatter and annihilate it with matter, producing large quantities of energy. The previous method of creating antimatter on Earth via an antiproton decelerator what is deceleration? Acceleration is speeding up and slowing down. Everything about the whole whack of fight. Oh, yeah. Whack is cool. It was, it was not as hard. Neither of those fights were as hard as I thought they'd be, but they were fun. Uh... Anyway, where was I? Here we go. Uh, was incapable of producing much energy for warp travel. The use of exolithium crystals introduced to Earth by the Eldarians was the key to building a practical warp drive system. Antimatter engine, a system that produces vast quantities of energy from the annihilation of antimatter with normal matter. The energy can then be used to act upon gravitons and create a subspace gravitational field using plasma propulsion engines as well as warp drives. Antimatter reactor, a reactor that collides antimatter with normal matter, matter to convert it into energy. Numerous systems and technologies exist to keep the volatile antimatter stable. The energy reactions efficient and the energy extraction process as safe as possible. Annihilation energy, energy created by colliding particles of matter with particles of antimatter. The results in cancellation of positive uh, and negative quanta destroys all mass, but leaves the particles latent energy behind. The energy produced is directly proportional to the mass used, following the equ equation E equals mc squared. Kevin. The name Mila Bakhtin gave to the experimental antimatter reactor in the military facility, also the name of the Bakhtin's son who passed away in an accident. Cause and effect paradox. If the past and the present were connected within the same space-time, you could theoretically travel Back to the past to play the shitty games to suck ass and prevent your own birth, thus ceasing to exist. But if you did not exist, you could not have traveled back in time to prevent your birth in the first place, leading to a paradox. What would happen in such, a, such an event? The answer remains a mystery. I've always heard it as the grandfather paradox, but that makes sense too. Roke. A planet located in Sector Theta of the Milky Way, relatively close to the Sol system. Three continents dominate its landscape, occupied by a variety of intelligent life. Its level of civilization is roughly comparable to that of Earth in the 16th century, but some aspects of its culture are unheard of, even on Earth. In the future, Roke will serve as the stage for several notable moments in space history. Interesting. It makes me wonder if Roke appears in other games, like already pre-existing Star Ocean games. Uh, hmm. Astral. One of Roke's three major continents located in the central region of the planet. The north is dominated by the forests of the Astral Mountains, while the south is covered in desert. The land is currently under the governance of the King of Astral, whose nation has close commercial ties with the rest of Roke's countries. 
Rokian, any of the various species that live on Roke. Failpool, Lesser Failpool, Featherfolk, Lycanthropes, and Highlanders have been noted in reports. Calling them Lesser Failpool, it seems fucked up. But our, all right. Feldpool, a race descended from feline animals, particularly cats and lions, a highly curious, I thought that's a curvaceous for a sec. A highly curious and exploratory race, Feldpool have animal-like tails that extend from their posteriors. Compared to other species, they have exceptionally sharp senses of smell and hearing, as well as the ability to see well in nighttime conditions. In the future, some will come to refer to numbers of the Feldpool race as feline folk. Uh, lesser Felpool. Members of the Felpool race who have retained an especially large number of external traits from their progenitors. Sometimes they are even capable of transforming into the forms of their animal ancestors. Wouldn't that make them greater Felpool? Uh, Featherfolk. A race of people with large wings on their backs descended from birds. The process of evolution has split the numerous bone of the Featherfolk into allowing this remarkable race to possess both wings and arms. Featherfolk are extremely lightweight and can use the wings on their backs to fly for short periods of time. Neat. Lycanthrope, an extremely rare race of individuals who possess two independent bodily cell structures, ordinary human cells and special B cells that have been mutated by an internal virus. When a lycanthrope's heart rate exceeds a certain threshold, their human cells and B cells contract and expand respectively, and this distributed change transforms their external appearance. Many types of lycanthropes exist, including wolves, bears, tigers, dogs, rats, and pigs. Firma is a rat. Uh, Highlander. Yeah. A sturdy athletic race of Felpool descended from tigers who live in great numbers on the Australian uh, continent, known for extreme belligerence and a love of solitude, but also highly disciplined and self-critical with a chivalrous side as well. Their warrior knights are easily surpassed those of all other races. There can only be one, true. We're gonna have to fight. Autonym. A Felpool medicine dealer found near a dock on Astral's east coast that serves as an entry point. From the Muin continent, his plan is to build a port town around the dock to encourage commerce. Purgatorium, the oldest existing temple on Roke, housing statues that were, are believed to be represented representations of the Mua, a race quite unlike the planet's current inhabitants. The temple has numerous floors and extends deep underground. The further down you go, the more remnants of an ancient yet vastly superior scientific culture can be found. Bunny, a race of mammals that resemble round rabbits. And have somehow spread throughout the galaxy, extremely tame by nature, they possess the odd ability to appear anywhere at any time upon hearing a certain sound. Leap footed and fairly strong, they are valued as beasts of burden on some planets. Uh, Tatroy, a town in the center of the Australian continent that skirts the mountainside where Astral Castle sits. Uh, connected to Astral Castle. Uh, Astral City by the canal, Tatroy is home to the famous Tatroy Coliseum, where the strongest fighters from all throughout the land come to test their skills against one another. Astral Kingdom, a kingdom founded by Highlanders on the continent of Astral. Its knights are renowned throughout the land for their great power, consisting entirely of elite warriors handpicked from the most skilled of Highlanders. Uh, Astral City, a city built around and providing entry into Astral Castle, located deep within the mountains. Home to the headquarters of the Australian uh, Royal Knights, uh, the most powerful of the castle's knights and the body responsible for maintaining order in the region. Rogues from Tatroy tend to loiter at night when the knights are changing shifts, making it a particularly dangerous time to be outside. Stone sickness, a viral disease that paralyzes and hardens the limbs, eventually solidifying the entire body into a stone-like state, causing death. Current strains of the virus are not highly contagious and can be cured with the administration of a remedy. In recent years, several cases of disease brought on by a newer mutated vi version of the virus have raised new concerns. In response, scholars in Astral have taken up the duty of researching and developing a new remedy. King of Astral. The tenth successor to the throne of Astral, a young man highly popular with his subjects. A devoted believer in justice, his good-natured personality is rare among Highlanders, and he governs his country with brilliant leadership and decisive action. His black tiger ancestry is uncommon, even within the Highlander race. Trop. A port town located on the western coast of Astral, as the main entryway into the Australian continent, it is home to commercial trade with both Silvalant to the west and Mua to the east. The tallest lighthouse on the continent stands near its docks, which are built large enough for even the biggest of ferry boats. A large, I lost my place. A large anchor-like sculpture sits in its square, and the town's atmosphere asserts its history as a port at every street corner. 
Sidonism. 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 A heretical theology founded by the principle of worshipping the archfiend as Modius on the surface. It may seem just like any other creepy religious cult, but in fact it is a sinister organization aiming to resurrect Asmodeus by any means necessary. Elias Warren, a Highlander swordsman affiliated with the Astro Knights, realizing his sword talents and mastering the Edoro Ed Ed Blade arts at a young age. Uh, he now holds the captaincy of an entire platoon, a dutiful and wise knight. Black Eagle, a bandit who built his body to muscular extremes in spite of his fell pool blood. A conspicuous tattoo of an eagle extends from his head down to his back. Appearing and disappearing in a flash, his bold heists have stimmied uh, even the most elaborate of security measures. Formerly a bouncer at the Tatro Coliseum, he used the complex as a hideout from the prying eyes of the astronauts. Arnold Maverick, a professor of geology and archaeology who served as head of, head of the USTA's Ancient Sciences Research Department. Uh, while leading an expedition across Earth on a study of the planet's post-war environment, he discovered the remains of an ancient civilization on a dried-up seabed, a civilization with the level of science that the human race had yet to achieve. He later combined DNA retrieved from the site with his own Y chromosome to give birth to Edge, one of the seeds of hope. In AD 2082, he took a young Edge along on a second trip to explore the ancient culture, only to be attacked by an experimental bio-enhanced fighter that escaped from a military facility. He would later die from his injuries. While laid back in personality, his unbending belief in his convictions as he dealt with thorny problems had a major impact on the way Edge lives his life. Edge Maverick 2. Edge is one of the seeds of hope born with enhanced genes based on Muin DNA. He himself was unaware of this fact until Raimi revealed the truth, but the news didn't seem to surprise him. If anything, it made him happy. His abilities include instantaneous analytical perception, the likely reason why he tends to shoot first and ask questions later, resistance to the effects of harsh environments, and the ability to use symbology. So he just, he's proficient in perception. That's good, uh, constitution. And can kind of use magic. His skill with a sword and ineptitude with guns is due to, in large part, to his special gifts. Because of this, the time lag involved with aiming at a striking and striking at a target, his instantaneous perception often leads to accident, accidental misjudgment. I guess that's an interesting reasoning for it. Um, this, combined with a traumatic experience he had as a child, may explain why he instinctively believes that guns don't hit their targets. The crest that appears on the back of his hand is a sign that his unique DNA powers have activated. Oftentimes, it is a direct response to an emotional situation. Though it appears he is unable to control this awakening at will. Always striving to blaze his own trail as he presses forward in life, Edge deals with each situation with a positive outlook. In fact, his special DNA may be the very catalyst that he has been that has com been compelling him to face his cruel destiny since the moment he was born. Date of birth, July 30th, age 20. Hey, Domi, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Uh, Raimi Sionji, too. Raimi may wear a bright, constant smile, but she's often very hard on herself, never complaining about her lot in life. Even so, she sometimes finds carrying the burden of the secret behind her birth to be nearly unbearable. She, along with Edge and Crow, are seeds of hope, superhumans who were born with enhanced DNA. The environmental adaptation and cell regeneration abilities she developed were first brought to light after a childhood accident. The reaction from others at the scene was enough to traumatize young Raimi. Upon learning the truth behind her birth, she resolved never to tell anyone, bearing the pain of the secret all by herself. She cursed her own existence, uh, unable to accept herself for who she was, and she'll continue to carry that pain with her until the day comes when her powers are finally accepted. Date of birth, March 28th, age 19. I'm doing good. Uh, okay, so we just had we just passed Remy's birthday recently. So that means we should see Edge's birthday sometime soon. Hmm. Uh, Miracle Shamlot. A dynamic young lesser Felpool. Her birthplace is unknown, but likely to be a rogue, judging by her race. Always brimming with energy, Miracle is bright and amiable, though she hates being left alone. She apparently crash landed on Earth after inadvertently stowing away on a spaceship. Attracted by the smell of food, she boarded the ship, which then took off with her in tow. After the crash, she was apprehended and held captive in a military facility on Earth. Yes, yes. Uh, Sarah Ger Gerand. 
a land-bound Featherfolk who hails from her people's homeland on Roke. She was saved by Edge's party from a mysterious band of kidnappers in Tatroy while staying there as a goodwill ambassador to the Kingdom of Astral. Her carefree, charitable demeanor lets her confer on an equal footing with those from all walks of life. While she often seems to be off-kilter, seems to act off-kilter, she occasionally surprises others with her straightforward responses to thorny questions. Her simple, almost naive kindness is completely guileless. So she can't do Sonic Boom. Uh... Miria Tyonesis. I feel like it should be Tyonesis. T -O I think it was Tyonesis, actually. Anyway. A wielder of thunder symbology on a never-ending quest to pursue Crow, the man she says killed her beloved. Although she was born on EN2, she had never met Bacchus before. She confronts Crow with a frigid, suspicious demeanor, but behind her face lies a heart filled with sadness and fear. She approached Edge's party while on the hunt for Crow, inadvertently saving them from doom in the process. Miracles Pandit. Pendent. Pendant. Uh, a gift that Klaus entrusted to Miracle, promising her it would guide her into space. It ultimately proved to be just as important as Klaus' surmise. Sealed inside the pendant was an ex exolithium crystal of a far higher density than anything even the Eldarians had seen before. The crystal was discovered in the remains of the crash shuttle from the ship that Miracle was believed to have boarded. Klaus kept it hidden during the salvage operation, fearing that its previously unheard of technology be used in imperfect and dangerous ways. Anyway. Uh, I was wanting to look up the bunnies and see if it would tell me where they, they are, but it didn't. And I figured we should just go ahead and read all that shit while we're there. Wish I can zoom out the map or something. Mm. Uh, ah. Everything's trying to kill me. three ways to go. Hmm. Let's see if something happens if I try to go this way. Astral Desert. Neat. What is this? Spiky guy isn't in very good shape. Is it the cactus? Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, help, 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 help. Rip. Well, that's probably what we need the bunny for. Hmm. Can't get across the sand vagina. Are you a skeleton man? Hello, skeleton man. Skeleton armor. Ba da ba ba. Nice. Not very strong. Honeybee. Nice. I guess we're going back. Got to figure out where to find those damn bonoys so we can cross the desert. have gone. Oh, where? Oh, where could they be? Hmm. 
there's so many ways we can go. Mm. There's an unopened chest down here, so I'm gonna, I guess, go this way. A riot potion. Let's start a riot. A riot. Let's start a riot. Ba do 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 do. Ninety-six. Uh. Mm. off. Fine, I'll fight you. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, it's fine. They're weak as fuck. Oh! Nice. Get the asses. Come on. Fuck them up. Oh, god damn it. Even the fire breathing. Bullshit. Ow. Yeah. What you get for fucking with me? Biatch. Please step back. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lightyear. Uh let's heal Remy. And while we're at it, can we skill boost? Eh, a little bit. Uh pocketing up. Hit up. Hmm. Shadow needles. Shadow needles. Shadow needles. Shadow needles. Shadow needle. She can't. Lightning blast. Oh my god. It got so much more expensive after one upgrade. Rage. 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 Despite all her rage, she's still just a limo in a cage. Uh, nope. Okay. Hmm. Where the fuck are these rabbits at? Where are these raving rabbits at? Yeah. Huh. Silver and gold. Level up. Yeah. Don't look like there's any rabbits on the beach. Rabbits on the beach. Oh. Here we go. Veggie tolls and a wooden stick. Dope. Like a good spot for ingredients. Oh uh, my god. I hate when games add stuff like that. Oh, it's the axe beak again. Or like ass beak, am I right? Got him. This is just a loop back to the fucking other area. I don't understand why we can't just like hold the run button and just run forever. Seems silly. I wonder if they thought making it slightly more annoying would stop people from doing it everywhere, but I'm still gonna do it everywhere. It just takes more effort. Or maybe they thought it worked better because you had to like, this way you can hit the button and then change the camera, but you still move. I don't know. Hey, where the fuck are the rabbits? I don't- I, I haven't seen a one. 
we were coming out here last time to catch him, and then that's when it went down. Back to the walkthrough. Apparently, there's one near Tatroy. A bridge to the north of Tatroy has a bunny. Okay, let's go back. Remember Hugh Hefner? I feel like everyone acted like he was like, I don't know, the king of sex or something. But he was just a rich guy who, oh, who owned a porn magazine. Wait, why is it there now? It wasn't there before. Alright, bitch, I'm gonna kill you. And then we can catch this Benoy. Nice. Yeah! Hog hug. Over the use. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. Not having Bacchus in the part is kind of funny because he's just camouflaged behind a rock watching this all happen. Yeah. Maybe I should uh, help out. Right. I did it. It's that easy, I guess. It doesn't it doesn't dash, so I can only move at one speed. This thing does not like fit in thematically or artistically with the rest of this game. Like it's not even a bad design, it's just it feels like they took a thing from a completely different game and just dropped it in. Which might honestly have happened, I don't know. Can they cross? They can, I did it. Alright, cool. Can I open chests while riding Benoit? Yes. Oh my god, they kicked the chest for me. Hell yeah, Silver Chalice! Fuck yeah. I found an oasis. Today is going to be the day that they finally go back to you. By now, you should have really somehow realized what you gotta do. I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now. Trop area. Maybe the word is on the street that the fire in your heart is out. 
Oh, I can't I can't do mining or harvesting while on the Benoit, but I'm scared to get off because what what if it runs away? So uh, let's go grab the chests and then like a sand seal, yeah. I think I'm more like chocobos, but that works too. Holy water. Holy water. Level up. Leave me alone. Kick. Too many big berries. I gotta fucking... I hate that... I have to... Oh, I can't open my inventory while I'm on this thing. That sucks. Oh my god. So glad I'm not a 100%er or, or something. Because you that means you would have to go through this area and get off the bunny. Assuming the bunny doesn't run away, you have to constantly get off the bunny to collect shit. Can I get the stuff in this chest? Magic com capacitor. Something like a flux capacitor. But for magic. Wait. I'm supposed to go to Trop. Where's my bunny? Can I summon the bunny? It said once you catch a bunny, you can just summon it, right? Oh, fuck. I better not need that bunny to get into Trop. Drop. Oh, it's probably this area over here. I fucking need the bunny. How do I bring the bunny back? Um. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Um. says we need to go west. Am I going the right way? Uh, yes. But it said, the walkthrough said I don't need the bunny anymore, but I need the bunny to keep going west. Did it fucking lie to me? Shut up, woman. something get to mining blockers gold and thunder gems I can't swim it's fucked are. up shut up bitch nobody asked you Lemon and oak. And hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so it is where we go. That's weird. It doesn't seem like the way to go, but... Anyway, we're on disc two now, apparently. I kind of thought I'd get like an achievement, like when I played through FF7, where it'd be like, you beat disc one. But I guess not. There you are. But we're a third of the way through, so that's cool. Riot potion. It makes you good at League. A skill that nobody really gives a shit about. Fuck. Trying to get a blue gem on the bonus board. Hello, critter. I'm gonna call this guy a little critter. Vomiting gel, I don't like that. Don't don't vomit at me, sir. Sticky. And unsanitary. Ow. No! Stop killing them before I can get them. Stop being so confident, team. Crank up. Okie doke. The fuck? There's like a red light, light on the ground. Is there like some fucking robot thing in here? Bow, bow, bow. Nice. There we go. I got a blue one. Why are we so strong? I don't even feel like... I feel like I've been skipping a lot of fights in this area. Okay, where is there a red light? What is that? What is it doing? I don't like that. Stay away from me. Is it scanning for me? Ah, bat! Corpse bat. That's a sick ass name. It's metal as fuck. Ow. Alright. Okay. There we go. Hiya. Damn it, woman. Keep stealing my keels. Can we? Ebony and Poison Hemlock. Oh boy. Hmm. Guess I'll go this way. These red things floating around creep me out. I don't trust them. How is that a surprise attack? Is it really? I feel like I ran into it, but alright. Ow, 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 ow. Something hit me. Oh, I'm cursed or whatever. Uh, I'll just... Leave me alone, leave me alone. Raimi, why are you dead? being dead.
kind of annoying, but it's not the worst. It's an interesting way of having... of simulating, like, a blind darkness effect in this sort of combat. Blackberries. Okay. 28, 28, 20. Okay. Hi, yeah. Iron and a Thunder Gym. Alright, what's in here? Broke. Interesting. I don't know if this is where I'm supposed to be going or not, though. What the fuck are you? Little creature with a mace. It's a spirit priest. Huh. Die, spirit priest. No! It broke my board and it turned me into a fucking pumpkin. Help. Help, 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 help. I can't use items. I'm, I'm just a pumpkin. I'm just a gourd and life is a nightmare. I'm just a gourd. I know that it's not fair. Okay, well, that's an effect, I guess. Shut up. Where am I going? There's a save point up there, so that must be where we're supposed to go. Here we go. Lemon and seasonings. Wow. Well. Hmm. Uh, I guess we'll run down here. What? Who said that? Is that what? Is that the harpy lady? There you are. Shut up, bitch ass. I'm gonna fuck this bird lady. Never mind, she's not interested. Resurrection elixir. Wait, I think she's interested now. Recipe memo nine. It's too late, lady. You turned me down. You had your chance. All right. Let's go to Trop. Wait. Mining. Minecraft. I can see why all the kids love Minecraft. I love to build brown bricks and with Minecraft. Uh. All right. Uh, where's the, oh wait. Let's get this stuff. Oh, shut up. Ah, ah, ah. They're, they're everywhere. We were too careless. Thieving scumbag. Yeah. Gotcha, bitch. Yay. I must say that was really challenging. Cool. Anywhere. 
fresh sage. I'm honestly surprised that that dry thingy there Here we go. didn't ambush us. Thornberries. Are they wild? Level up! Cure condition. Wow, cool. What are you? You're a different variant. Mandragora. Oh, yeah. Is it gonna yell at me? Dope. Hiya! Hiya! Hell yeah. I do like the bonus board because once you understand how it works, you can use it to like get a bunch of extra experience and stuff from fights. Which honestly might be why sometimes I feel like I'm over leveled because I actually know how it works now. And I'm on the easy difficulty, so. Isn't this? Yes, it would certainly seem to be one of Sarah's feathers. This is consistent. Would certainly seem to be one of Ferris says it. I mean, Sarah must be fuck. Here. Let's split up and see if we can't find any clues. I wish more, like, RPG dialogue had characters misspeaking and then just getting flustered about it. I feel like some people would hate it, but I would think it was really funny. It's one thing that's kind of fun in D&D. &D. It's like, no, no matter how cool you think you are, you're going to say something stupid <laughs> at some point. Do you think Just like real life. The ones Sarah was talking about? The Mua? You know, the ones that she said look like you and me. I mean, FaZe looks like Mua, us, huh? just with big ears. The race whose genes we were supposedly implanted with. <sighs> I see. They do indeed evoke your images, in a way. Yeah. But more than you two, I'd say they resemble... Earthlings in general. I mean, yeah, it's almost like Mua and Earthlings Mua basically look the same. Earth and broke so far apart in space. What were they? Uh, aliens? Probably. I don't know. It's so strange. Even though their genes live inside me. Raimi. I don't, I don't like the way you worded that, hey, even though it's hey, technically correct. Come here, hey. Sure thing. Also, I love that one line that everyone always mentions from Oblivion where the lady, like, they left in the lady being like, oops, let me do that again or whatever. And then she, she says the line a second time. I can't remember exactly, but Over I find it funny. I caught Sarah's scent. Oh fuck! But it's a dead end. I'd recognize that smell anywhere. Huh. Not gonna be that easy, I guess. This is like so deflating. Well then, what shall we huh. do now? You know, I never thought about it, but if there's an inflation kink, there's got to be a deflation kink too. I wonder if Sarah's even here. I know it. I'm positive. Positive she's here. Eureka! What is it, Mary? I just had a revelation. When you're stuck like this, there's only one solution. Ask for help. B who? But ask who? Who else? The Lord Lady Jesus Elena Christ. Of course. Lady Elena? You mean Sarah's fortune teller acquaintance? Lady Elena probably knows everything. I mean, seriously, she's a sage, a holy maiden. Isn't that just from some fairy tale you read? Isn't yeah, that some fakey, on, fakey bullshit? Sarah said she was going to see Lady Elena too. She must know something. Fair. I want to go too. It sounds fun, Katie. What's the plan, Edge? Let's go. It's better than standing around. Mm -hmm. What proof do we have this Elena can be trusted? Why shouldn't I just fucking blast her Sarah in the second I see her? People who've lost their way go to see her. We may not have any proof, but I want to trust Sarah. 
Why the zoom in on phase? Hmm. Phase is a Scientologist. Oh no! Why is there a fucking burning corpse walking around? Shut up, bitch. Nobody asked you. Well, FaZe is standing in the corner like... These, these fools, they don't understand. They haven't even been cleared of their Thetans. Or even better. Uh... Faze has been watching spirit science videos on YouTube. Can't say anything or else he'd give himself away, true. Oh, you're the one that said that earlier. Interesting. Okay. This is such a silly enemy. The fire corpse guy is just like dancing around. Skill manual trap evasion. Nice. Now we just need an ability to create traps and we'll be like Fred from Scooby Doo. are Scooby and Shaggy. There. Hmm. What's do Scooby do? We're coming after you. We gotta go this way. So big. Dodging the red thing because it still freaks me out. Too much basil. Me when I did the basil voice and almost fucking puked. Uh, uh, chest. Health seeds. Nice. Oh god, I almost had one. Mm. Uh, leave me alone. We can use this. Okay. Drop area. Neat. There's a lot of shit. I guess that's Trop over there, probably. All right, I'm going to take a pee break, and we're going to go to Trop. BRB.
Okie doke. Hmm. There she blows. What the fuck is going on here? There's something wrong. Did something happen? Luck of wandering souls. Give pause and lend me your ears. The advent of our long awaited hour of salvation is at hand. Yea, he who shall save our wretched, iniquitous souls, the Supreme Being, the Almighty Lord, Asmodeus. Man got a crystal in his head. Is nigh. Asmodeus, you people, you can't be. Church of Sydney. The Archfiend cult? Indeed, we are the Church of Sidone. But I ask you, what reason is there for you to be worried? It is Asmodeus who shall deliver this world unto salvation. Avert your eyes from false peace and witness the truth of this world. If you would do but that, you shall surely begin to see. Your beloved families, friends, and neighbors blighted, becoming as cold stone, trapped within the clutches of darkness and pain oh. forevermore. The remedy that would cure us all is monopolized by the ruling elite and does not reach the hands of the common man. Mm -hmm. That is unjust. Would you not agree with me? But they do give it out. At cheap, affordable prices, even. Point. Yes, my friend. Or so we've been told, I guess. Walks the wrong path. The virtuous and chaste writhe in agony throughout the land, while the wretched and shameless fill the vessels of their desire. But there is one who would consume this miserable world in his flames of purification. Yay, none other than the magnificent Asmodeus. Oh my god, they they turned so fast. Holy well, shit. The Archfiend is going to burn down the entire world, right? Wouldn't we burn to death right along with it? Uh, yes, I'm an old man. It is precisely as you say. Asmodeus will consume the world with his flames, and we along with it. But but then we'd all die. What good would that be? I don't want to die. Then, shall we not all burn together? What? <sighs> By accepting Asmodeus as your savior, you shall receive his divine mercy. His destruction of this ugly, wretched world is merely a gateway to the beautiful new one that he will create. Within that new world, Asmodeus' followers, we shall be granted eternal happiness. We must but love the Almighty Lord unconditionally so that we may be bathed in the light of his divine love in return. The pain of being consumed in his flames of purification will last but an instant. But mm. the happiness granted in his new world will be eternal. Is he gonna like nuke the planet? I say to you again, eternal. Mm. You got some crazy ass hair, my guy. Wow, that was fucking crazy. Goodbye. So this is Sidoneism, the cult of the Archfiend. They are clearly not to be taken lightly. 
He speaks with such conviction. I wouldn't be surprised if he gained a lot of new followers here. He has a high charisma of course, stat. As we all know, everything that comes out of his mouth is absolute nonsense. Indeed. These people have stopped receiving medicine only because shipments of raw materials have been stymied. Mm. You must not forget whoever was behind the Bandit Edge defeated, attempting to halt the Remedy's distribution. But of course, the Royal Knights are dealing with that matter. And in any event, this Archfiend doesn't exist. Sooner or later, people like him will disappear. Hmm. Something wrong? No, I was just thinking. I was wondering what will happen to his followers when their leader does disappear. It's none of our business. Let's go. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Phew. There it is. You say we should have killed him right then and there. Thank you. You ever hear, heard about the cactuses in the desert that the ones that stay dry and withered no matter how much water they get? Normally a little water is enough to make any cactus go back to normal. So what's these cactuses problem anyway? Why are they so lazy? Wait, what? Don't you believe the story? You think I'm lying? Why don't you go see for yourself? Here, I'll give you this. Empty bucket. Me? Oh, forget it. I'm not going into the desert twice. Sitting around here staring into space. And that's the life for me. Good luck, folks. Okay. I guess that's a side quest. I'm not even sure what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Uh, anyway. Let's take a nap. Pathologically petulant woman. Hmm? Is this from the doll maker? Huh? What the heck is this? No, no, this won't do it all. Have him do it over. See how this, that guy gets lazy with his work sometimes. You his helper? You got a problem a little more, okay? Sorry, ma'am. Not that I'm his helper, but... Okay, I guess I accidentally did a side quest, but... It... Only partially. Stamina pie. Banana, 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 terracotta, banana, terracotta, terracotta pie. Uh, okay, well, neat. Let's get out of here. Wee. What else is there to do here? Let's see, who are you? Hey, what do you think makes for a good diet? Um, a diet? Well, I think watching your food intake and exercising regularly is the best you can really do. Wait, overweight woman? I'm sorry. Overweight my ass. Anyway. Uh, yeah, you're right. But there's no way I can exercise with the sort of body I have, so I'm trying to eat less instead. But I just love eating good. Rich foods. I just love eating good, rich foods so much. Oh, I definitely know how that goes. You just can't help yourself, right? Right, yeah. So I figured I'd do th take the opposite approach. I want to eat food that tastes good, but I'm still hungry again right afterward. So how do I deal with that? By eating food that tastes really bad, of course, that reduces the number of meals per day. Easy, but my stomach's still bulging. Uh, you know, you look like a pretty talented cook. Could you deliberately make something terrible for me? You know, something really otherworldly? Three meals will do. Are, are you sure about that? I'm positive, let's do it. Okay. Anyway, overweight my fucking tits. Look at this lady. She's fucking Whatever you say, game. That almost makes me wonder if in the Japanese version, she's got a totally different thing going on. And they changed it because they thought it would... I don't know. Maybe it was offensive. Or not. I don't know. Anyway, what the fuck is this? 
It's a cutscene. What is with this Are you home? angle? Sarah recommended we come see you. Maybe she's out. The door's oh. not locked. I'm going in. Kate. I guess that's breaking and entering. Let's go. Let's see what we can find. I love crime. Oh fuck, somebody's watching us. It's those fuckers. I always feel like somebody's watching me and I got no privacy. Well, I'm afraid I was unable to find any trace of a No edge. This is a house. Where she might be. Not a well. Same here. Me neither. She must be really good at hide and seek. I'd expect no less. Regular people like us can't hope to match her hide and seek skills. What does that even mean? Hmm. Is something burning? Uh oh. The entire fucking house is on fire. Ah! Uh... Ah! Jesus Christ. Someone must have set their house on fire. Their god is a fire god, so I guess it makes sense. Whoa. Trip trip. I did not know that he just has a flashlight on him. There's something, there was something just so real about him pulling the flashlight out and just shining it in every which way. Someone's coming. I'm sure they are. I knew you whelps would come. Whelp? Who are you calling a whelp? I knew you were Sarah's friends, and I knew the house would burn down, nearly taking you with it. Uh, we... That's why I prepared a transfer symbol for you wretches. Show some appreciation. God damn. Huh? Thank you. Very much. Dommy mommy head ass. Are you deficient? Show some appreciation. All of you. Oh, uh, of course. Thank you very much. <sighs> <sighs> very well. You may now rejoice. I am she whom you seek. The one and only Elena Farrance. Come, I don't recall summoning you, but you might get some tea. Uh, wait a minute, please. Are you really the Elena that Sarah was talking? I won't say it again, Stripling. Come. Y yes, ma'am. And don't dawdle. That's a so kink. that's Elena, huh? Not quite what I was expecting after what Sarah said about her. Mary, is something wrong? You don't look too happy, Kate. Oh, I suspect she's just in shock. Elena must not have lived up to Miracle's image of the Holy Maiden. I can hear you. I was just going to say, she could probably hear us. Let there be light. But That's a holy God. A nice ring to God it. said that. I think I'll start calling myself that. Elena the Holy Maiden. Oh, wow. <laughs> Don't! My beautiful bubbles! Stop bursting them! <laughs> be sparing with your praise. I'm bashful. It's not praise! <laughs> She's a bully, huh? Definitely. Perhaps, but it I think Sadus is, is not a better She not only word. knew of our relationship with Sarah and that we were coming to see her, she even predicted the fire. Then I wish she'd saved us a little faster. If I had, you wouldn't know the proper gratitude. I saved your life, and in doing so showed you how precious it is. I believe I ought to be thanked for that, not blamed. This is wrong, all wrong. 
Lady Elaine is supposed to be beautiful and wise and kind. You see, that's me to the letter. I kind of respect it. <laughs> Is your house this way? <laughs> Laney, huh? How amusing. Laney the Holy Maiden. Hmm, that might be even better. Oh, please! No the way she said that almost makes it feel like... I have a hideout up ahead, that's, that's like one of those, like, if you played this other Star Ocean game, you would know, you'd be like, oh my god. I can count, you see. Here, but maybe not. Arrived. It's a door. And you there, Hulk, show yourself. Fuck, already. she can see invisible people. Also, she called him Hulk. So that's what you look like. When did you notice me? Smash. Don't underestimate me. Before I even met you, obviously. Whoa. My apologies, Miss Elena. You can wait there. You might fit inside, but your hulking brawn would be a nuisance. Damn. As you wish. I shall stand watch here then. Rude. Bacchus, are you sure? It's not a problem. I'll still be able to hear your conversation from here. Stop playing patty cake like halfwits and get inside, you lot. I like this lady. Oh fuck, they found the secret door. What? Not satisfied with just torching her house. Oh shit, now it's Booby Lady. Too. <laughs> the life of a beautiful woman. I tell you. Oh fuck. Jingle physics. If you're so fond of your precious archfiend, I'd be more than happy to send you straight to him. Hi oh my god irony so now I have to stop an archfiend's resurrection do I why does Giotto always give me the tedious jobs Giotto That's a thin ass stone door. She can hear us. Miss Elena, do you really see everything? Please tell us. Is Sarah trapped within the Purgatorium? And if so, can you tell us how to get inside? Don't rush me. Everything in due time. But. <laughs> There are those who secretly threaten this land. I imagine you've heard of them. A rather tawdry group that calls itself the Church of Sidone. They are the ones that kidnapped Sarah. Why would the Archfiend cult do that? They are bona fide idiots. No, worse, imbecilic cretins. Although many heroes gave their lives to defeat the Archfiend, this dogged little cult has continued to worship him for millennia. They've always seduced new converts in secret, but lately, their activities have become increasingly bold. It's almost as if they're being prodded by something, or someone. Mm. In ages long past, an archfiend appeared in this land. He was called Asmodeus. The Sidoneists' ultimate goal, of course, is the archfiend's resurrection. <sighs> the Sidoneists lust after my power. They bade me join their church, but I'm sure you can guess what my answer was. <sighs> what? You look as if you think I'm talking nonsense. What? No, that's not it at all. 
I don't find it such a strange tale. After all, you lot sitting before me now. You came to this land across the vast star ocean. That's the name of the series! <gasps> if you ask me, both are equally nonsensical. Like I warned your hulking friend outside, don't underestimate me. <laughs> and you learned this through your fortune telling? Not exactly fortune telling. Augury. To be more precise. Isn't tight. It's very taxing, but far more accurate. Those tarot cards over there have just demonstrated. I had foreseen that Sarah would send me intriguing guests. <laughs> You're most intriguing indeed. What's wrong with you? Isn't Sarah supposed to be your friend? Aren't you at all concerned about her? Sarah is like a sister to me. Of course I'm concerned. But then, why? I received a message from on high and was waiting. Waiting for you lot to arrive from the stars. She's already seen the future where we save Sarah. You were waiting? For us? Yes. You are the only ones who can save Sarah and prevent the resurrection of the Archfiend. Us? Prevent the resurrection? All of you who stand before me, travelers from across the stars, I tell you once again. You must stop the Archfiend resurrection rituals that proceeded the Purgatorium even as we speak. <sighs> the Archfiend must not yet come. It is too soon. Too soon? You speak as if his resurrection is inevitable. Of course it is. What? Mm -hmm. The Archfiend will indeed be resurrected, but not quite yet. When the time comes, a band of warriors will rise up and destroy him. But those warriors are not you. No, it really feels like there's a is hole there. Another of your auguries? This is, this is about a whole other game that I haven't played. But that's beside the point. What's important now is forestalling the Archfiend's resurrection. And most importantly, mm -hmm. you must rescue Sarah, the key to that resurrection. Wait a minute, I, I don't get it. What does Sarah have to do with the Archfiend? His revival requires a sacrifice of holy blood. Sarah is of the sacred feather folk more than worthy to be offered to the Archfiend. Her rescue and the prevention of the Archfiend's resurrection are one and the same. What... What if we fail? What would happen to this planet? Uh, fire, brimstone. If you fail... Death. Nightfang. <laughs> The scariest outcome of all. Huh? What the fuck? She's the holy virgin garbed in white walks upon the path to the altar. Lainey, what's going on? The way shall soon be cleared. Feathers of purest white stained deepest crimson scattered upon the wounds. The vile archfiend Bade forth from his realm of deepest darkness, shall awaken to feast upon the corpse of the Virgin. His coming shall herald the end of days. It's... it's almost like she's a different person. Would this be... an augury? Wacky. As the world is immersed in flames of ruination, there is no quarter, no escape. All shall be reduced to ash. The world will Thus, turn to ash. Are all things annihilated in infinite beauty. Huh? 
feel like you shouldn't do that in like a back a chair like, like a stool maybe like in bed or something in case you just like flop onto the floor lady elena i figured it would be faster to simply show you that was an augury of a future in which you fail hmm. Sarah's death brings with it this land's extinction. There is no hope and no compromise. No matter how often I invoke this future, it is always the same. The destruction is inescapable. But if you can manage to save Sarah, perhaps it can be averted. I would like to pin my hopes on that. Ugh. Ugh. I'm praised as a phenomenal teller of fortunes, but just look at me. My body racked with the pain of auguries, unable to help anyone, unable to save my friend. Well, oh. please save the feather folk, save the world. I beg you. All right, girl, I got you. Miss Elena. Please, stop. You can't. Please, don't ask me to get involved with the fate of an entire planet. Too late. Edge, that's not something I can do. Sarah's one thing, but an entire planet. All right, counterpoint. I, I can't. Not... If you leave, the planet gets fucked up, and it's your fault. Oh my god. Yep, yeah, okay, this is why she should have done it in a fucking bed. I called it. Nice. She's out cold, okay? Let's go to the Purgatorium. Phase. Frankly, I have my doubts about this Archfiend resurrection business, but it's clear that Sarah is in grave danger nonetheless. But Elena still isn't showing any signs of waking up, and we don't have any way to get into the Purgatorium either. Then we'll just have to make one, even if we have to obliterate the entire structure. No way! I'm not going to let you do anything that crazy! Then what would you have us do? Wait. Wait until Elena wakes up. We don't have time for that. She told us to go to the Purgatorium to stop the rituals, but we don't have any way of getting deeper inside. Elena must be aware of that. She knows exactly how to get inside. She has to. I'm sure of it. Fair point. Don't you understand? You heard what they'll do to Sarah. Are you just going to give up on her? On Roke itself? That's not what I'm saying. You may as well be. If you were the edge I knew. Oh. You wouldn't have even hesitated. Ever since we met on Eos. And then on Lemuris. And on Cardianon. You never took your eyes off your goal or let anything scare you. You always moved forward. That's the whole reason I wanted to come with me? you. Me? I'm the guy that got Earth destroyed just because I didn't think things through. I think about that happening again, and I get so scared. I get so freaked out, I can't even move. But what about Raimi? You fought for her when she was in trouble. Damn right I did. But that's not going to make this fear go away. Both of you, stop it! <sighs> Let me ask you one thing. You're not giving up on Sarah, are you? Of course not. FaZe, I understand your concern for our friends, but you too have to understand our leader is Edge. Fine. Oof. Wow. Like twisting a knife. Hey. Wouldn't want to get on your bad side. <laughs> I 
Damn. I don't know if it'll actually go in the, this direction, but they could potentially take phase in a sort of like... Uh... Uh... Anti-hero sort of way. Maybe he leaves the group. Hmm... He didn't won't even talk to us. I figured. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Finds Maleficent and hangs with her for a bit. Yeah, pretty much. I would almost say that, that maybe Crow will have that, but I feel like we just don't know anything about what Crow's up to aside from what the booby lady says about Crow killing her partner, lover, whatever the fuck they called them. Um... But, like, I'm sure that it's going to be one of those, like, she's painting it like he's he's evil, but it was, like, totally out of his control, or he just, like, fucked up or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I had to talk. Okay, I knew I had to talk to someone the second time. Oh. Miss Elena, thank goodness. Oh, how long was I unconscious? It's already morning. That long. I must be getting old. The S on her outfit stands for Sarah. What happened, girl? We were discussing how to get deeper inside the purgatorium, and uh, there was a difference of opinion. I see. That was careless of me. <laughs> if I had given this to you earlier, you could have avoided that. Ew, it's covered in boob sweat. Is this a key card? How could a civilization like this possibly possess key cards? Without that lamp of guidance, you won't be able to get very far into the purgatorium. Mm. There's no other way, and if you had tried to force your way in, you might have gotten Sarah killed. It looks like you made the right call, Edge. Yeah. Mm. Where did you get the keycard? I mean, lamp of guidance. It was given to me by someone who claimed to carry the blood of Amua. They're definitely building up phase to have a chip on his shoulder go, about Edge. And please, save Sarah. Every time someone compliments Edge, Very well. they That's keep good. cutting to phase. Wait, you there, Alley Cat. What do they call you? Miracle? Okay, rude. Uh, well, what? You want to burst even more of my bubbles? Come see me when this is over and tell me of your holy maiden. Next time I will not make light of her. M maybe if I feel like it. And I'm no alley cat, you hear? <laughs> nice. Stripling. I don't know what it is that frightens you, and neither do I care. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. Stop being so full of yourself. It's ridiculous. What? Get his ass. The star ocean is endless. The world vast beyond knowing. If you presume to think you can carry it all yourself, you're a fool. <laughs> It is the stars themselves that decide between prosperity and destruction. All is fate. But... Or 
Are you so arrogant as to believe you can manipulate fate itself? Don't be so presumptuous, you idiot. Damn. No, no, I don't... What you are capable of doing and the influence you wield is limited. Yes, something you trigger might eventually swell into an enormous wave, enveloping everything. The very fate of a world might even be swayed. But your actions alone are not enough. A great many factors conspire to bring a world's fate to its ultimate conclusion. Miss Elena. Fret, fear, weep, but do not stop. Leave pride by the wayside. Move forward with every fiber of your being, and you will begin to discover what you are capable of. Hell yeah. Insignificant as you are, you will discover something that only you can do. That is the path you must walk. Nice. Insult and compliment in the same sentence. <laughs> this is put in the Sonic Adventure character summary text. Hell yeah. Just advice from a pretentious fortune teller. In any case, you have this girl with you, don't you? Your girlfriend. Uh, you, you mean me? I'm sure you have faced incredible pain and hardship. But the Mua inside you is there for a reason. Mm. The Mua inside me? There's a little Mua inside us all, except not really. Just you three. You who were born under the Mua's divine protection, child of hope. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Tears. Of your kingdom. Phase. I'm sorry. Now kiss and make up. Who isn't a place? It's a people. I'm ready to start moving forward again. It's Just both, actually. Give me a little more time. I promise the edge you first met is coming back. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe that took all night. If we're going, let's hurry up and get moving. There she is. You're... What are you doing here? I told you I had business on this planet, didn't I? Well, look at that. It would seem we even share the same goal now. Halting the resurrection of the archfiend Asmodeus. That is the mission I was given as Amorphous. So you are Amorphous too? Yeah. I've heard plenty of stories about you, Bacchus. It's an honor to meet you. Did you hear that from, from his wife? I don't believe I've introduced myself to the rest of you yet. I'm Yuria Dionysus. I remember some of you from Cardianon. You're that woman from... What are you doing here on Roke? I'd like to know myself. That business with the Cardianon and now Roke. Why are you people always at the center of things? Destiny or something. It doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll be joining you. Wait, who said you could? Do you still want to kill him? Of course, boy. And don't worry, I'll be staying right with you until I do. Wink. What's she talking about, Edge? Oh, it's simple enough. She's coming with us because she wants to kill Crow. What? Don't worry. I won't let her. I'll make her understand. Well then, shall we? <laughs> there it goes. She's finally a party member. All right. Miria, what are the Morphous doing on Roke? You'll find out soon enough. Though it's not something confined to Roke alone. But right now, we need to get to the Purgatorium. Okie doke. Hiya! 
What level is she? Do I need to put her in the party? She's 32. Jesus Christ. Every time they give us a party member, they're always like way higher level than everyone else. All right, well, she can sit in the back. She probably comes with free skill boost stuff. Oh my gosh, she comes with a lot of it. Uh, compounding. Item creation skill allows you to create medicinal items. At, oh, nice. She also has... She has a bunch of magics that the other guys have, but I guess she's like... The all around her magically. Like she can use any and all magic. The black mage of the party, I guess. No way. Okay, well, off we go. To save our feathered friend. No. There you are. Fuck my dick. Oh, wait, I'm going the wrong way. I passed the cave. Uh. Yeah. Here we go. Hiya. Well, fuck off. Save before we go in. I yeah. Nice. Okay, dope. Now we can actually do the dungeon. Hmm. Where's that one place? Uh. Shut up. No one asked you. Ah, don't touch me. Oh, shit. What? Why is the game lagging so bad? I don't think it likes this effect very much. Mm. Neat. I don't really like that, uh... Ah. Silence. I don't like that those things don't show up on the map, though, even after you open them. It's gonna make getting around confusing. Oh shit. He spun. This is definitely a puzzle or something. Uh, fuck off. Alright, fine. Fight. So you'll leave me the fuck alone. Yeah, alpha. Nice. God, they're so weak. What the fuck? Beta. Getting stronger all the time. 
Don't level up. Hmm. Ah! Why is that loud ass noise playing? I hate it. Kind of hate it. Is it just going to do that the whole time? I think it is. Fire corpse. Hi -ya. Oh fuck. Bitch ass. Nice. Oh yeah. Okay. So I fucked up. Like there's a puzzle here. Clearly. But what is the puzzle? Turns the face away from whichever one you last do. Uh, wait, no, it doesn't. What? Uh. Okay. Fucked up. Yeah. Hmm. Nice. Get his ass. Nice. Q. We have sixty percent experience up. Useful experience indeed. Level up. Level up. Nice. I just need to keep my board from bursting. Okay. What if I have it? What if I like the one he's looking at? Maybe that's it. That was it. I should have figured that out way quicker. Oh my god, it really doesn't like this. I don't know why it's freaking out so much. And my controller just keeps vibrating this whole time. In this one. Boop. Now he's facing that one. Alright, bitch, I'll fight you. Now's the time to Whatever. Fuck off. 
Nice. Okay. Light. Here we go. Oh. Uh huh. I wonder what it is about this effect that's causing it to fuck up so much. It's a crystal. Crystal gleams with the power of light. Neat. Uh. <coughs> Oops. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly we gotta do something with this crystal. Thank you. There's so many fuckers. Oh, you have to do the one that they're both looking at. Interesting. Now's the time to strike. Hi -ya. Nice. Experience seventy percent up. Hell yeah. Gotcha. Oh my god, it's a chimera. Mage chimera, even. Oh, I'm poisoned. What the fuck? Who poisoned me? Uh, this? Yeah. on that. Uh, get out of the corner. Alright, fine. Fuck you. No, don't kill it. Don't kill it. Never mind. I killed it. Fuck. This one, right? Yeah. Okay. Now which one? That one? Interesting. Yeah, that's actually kind of a fun puzzle. Uh-oh. It's happening again. Why? That one just happened fast. What the fuck? Okay. Why did that one work properly? Uh... Okay. Hmm. What's in here? Oh, what the fuck? This must be a guardian of the Purgatorium. Somehow I doubt the diplomacy will be very effective here. Ooh, look at that big doggy. Hey, stay away from it. I don't have time for this. Careful, everyone. Here it comes. Boss fight, I guess. Guardian Beast. Yeah. Ah. Whoa. Hey, bitch. Oh yeah. Oh fuck. He got me. Ah. 
Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Oh, I missed. Oh god. Oh god. Yeah. You're very easy to dodge, sir. Ow. I'll take that back, I guess. Whoa! Calm down, sir. This man's like a fucking Zoid. Uh, healing. Me. Healing. Free me. Healing. On Mary. Yeah. Uh, ow. Oh, he didn't hit me. Cool. Come on, bitch. Olay! Sport back from this motherfucker. Ow. Ow. No! Stop! I say that and he fucking breaks my bonus board. Even more. Because she's fucking dead. Its life sign reading has disappeared in its place, however. Ooh, the doggy transformed. Hey, that looks like Grandpa's ring. I got a light ring. You know. Chase away the darkness. I'm Man. not letting your kids beat me yet. Level up. I give a lot of experience. Uh, down the stairs, I guess. Hmm. Piss off.
Oh, this one is slow, but not super slow. It's not as bad as some of them have been. Wait, wrong wall. Okay. Cool. Um, that's that, I guess. Nothing else in here. Hmm. Shit. I'm getting my bonus board back. That wasn't a level up, it was a rank up, but that was a level up. The enemies of my faith. Silence. I don't want to hear it. 8,000 fold. Neat. Oh, this is going to be complicated. I'm going to have to kill some of these guys just so I can actually stop and think. To go to the one that they're all pointing at and fight me. I estimate our combat. Thanks. For a battle, rather an anticlimactic affair. This body of mine would still seem to have hidden potential. Mm -hmm. Okay. You. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see. Fuck off. God damn it. Now uh, what? That counted as a surprise? That's bullshit. What? That's bullshit. Oh, you have to double blindside them. That's wacky. Ow, ow, ow. Um. Oh, come on. This one...
this one. This one. One of these two. Wait, no. I think I fucked up again. God damn it. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I know it's this one first. this one and then fuck off okay and it's this one This one. And then that one. And this one. Ah. There we go. I really doesn't like this one. went on for so long the fucking vibration stopped. Oh, wait, it's back. Why does the light ring have a single charge? It's kinda of fucked up. Uh 
Ooh. Eat a dick. Okay. Ah, uh, stop yelling at me. Mm -hmm. Fuck off. Try to trick me. Oh, uh, weird. It told me the order. What the enemies of my enemy or the enemies of my faith thing? Nice. I like how he somehow didn't notice me doing that. Critter succubus. Neat. Ah, ah. I'm silenced. No, ow. Holy fuck. Did a lot of damage. God damn it. We're gonna die. Oh, we're st actually going to die. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy fuck, why are they so strong? Cast death on Mimble. Stop dying.
bitch. It's silenced. Uh... I run away from a fight. Nope, 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 You silence, lady. Oh, my God. Ah, uh. get up. Damn it. Sucks. Hate this. There we go. All right, everyone just gang up on her. She has to die sooner or later. There we go. God damn. What a fight. I hated everything about that. 
All right. Give me a save point game. Distribution of the remedy cannot be stopped. There is no more point in spreading the stone sickness. It is clear infidels motivated by money are of little use, yet the hour is nigh. Asmodeus's resurrection is only a matter of time. How I yearn to hear the White Maiden's cry of death. For it is her soul that will stir Asmodeus to wake. White Maiden? That can only be Sarah. And if they're still yearning, that must mean she's still alive. What's that shabby rag? This? It's what those black cloaked hermits wear. This belonged to the one I offered up mm -hmm. to Asmodeus just this morning. <sighs> the Archfiend will walk a path opened by their blood. The least I can do is allow their worldly uh, possessions uh, to bask in his magnificence. That's the cloak those bunny people crazy? wear. You are a man of admirable compassion. The lives of their entire tribe are inferior to that of the White Maiden. Compassion? No, I only do what anyone would have done. At dawn, the Black Hermit's souls openeth the door. At dusk, the White Maiden's soul calleth him forth. Oh, oh Asmodeus, Asmodeus, most exalted, exalted Archfiend! Who's there? Phase. What Chill you, out. What have you done? What did you do to those people? Phase. I'm asking you what you did. <laughs> what the we fuck? Offer our souls to Asmodeus. Receive the souls of your faithful servants. Uh oh. <gasps> Well, that happened. What, what the hell, FaZe? Edge, these were the men that spread the stone sickness throughout Roke. It looks like they were doing it to try and foster unease among the people. What, what cowards. But more importantly, the resurrection ritual has already begun. What? We must hurry. There's no time. We'll do. I'll go get everyone together. Oh, please. Please be safe. Hmm. You find anything out? Huh? What are you angry about, FaZe? We've already started the ritual. Come on, people, let's hurry. Oh, boy.
Nope. I'm not dealing with that again. Hmm. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. Fuck off. Fuck off. Oh, shit. It's one of these puzzles again. I didn't realize. Oh, my God. Okay. Let me go in here and reset it. Nope. Fuck off, lady. No. No. God damn it. Freaking the fuck out. Uh, what? Looking at this one, but it's already lit. What? Hmm. one back here. Tricky, tricky. Fuck off. Okay. Just placing that one back there. facing now. Hmm. I see. That's me in the corner. Facing this way again. Is there another one back there? Found you. Get back there. Uh. Fuck. got poisoned. I would reset the puzzle. Huh? I just fuck up. Is that how it is?
Oh shit. Uh, This one. Uh oh. Now that one in. That one. Mm. Oh, fuck. Almost got me. You missed, idiot. She's right next to it. You. Fuck off, fuck off. No. Okay. Now we gotta wait for this. Oh, God. It's gonna take forever. Jesus Christ. Sure does. I should have timed this. Let's see how long it takes. So, uh, you guys see any good movies lately? Nice. I 
Oh, I see. Archer Simpsons are, it was still pretty okay. Uh, it's not a very glowing review. Damn. That's that that is that is a very glowing review from Night Thing. Uh cool. Now I can play the game. Yeah, don't touch me! Vile woman. Okay. Oh, but Spickle Me movies, uh Well I hope you're enjoying them. Uh, let's go get a full heal. Oh my god, finally. It's probably the boss on the other side. I'm looking for one of these save crystals for like 45 minutes. Alright, cool. And we can wrap up for the night. The story stuff today was cool. But this dungeon sucks my ass. You got straw. Pass back through that room again on the way out. I will. It it won't be bad if we can just we just have to go through. But if, if I have to do any more du puzzles while also dodging the, this fucking sucky by and chimeras, I will scream. Anyway. Uh, yeah. And that is it for today. I'm still wondering if FaZe is gonna, like, fucking betray us later. Alright. So yeah, we're gonna play more Star Ocean next week. It's gonna be our main thing. Uh, and then we'll do a Nintendo Power Stream on Tuesday. Uh, other than that, uh, located the Ipless Trigger. Yeah, I guess it kind of is. I think we're going to meet Silver the Hedgehog. Uh, you know. All right. Uh, cool. Well, BPR. Go follow Ringo Myrtis. Very cool. Very epic. And here's my socials and the read message. And yeah. Well, we're gonna raid Mural. It's their birthday. We're like almost birthday buddies, but not quite. Um, and yeah. Actually, you know what? We should add happy birthday to the raid message, shouldn't we? Bam. Uh, Anyway, thanks for coming out. Uh, have a good day, good night. Whatever it is for you all. I'll see you next stream. Oh.